Okay, good morning, students. Welcome to class. This is week 14. So let's open the book and let's get started. Okay. Two and twenty-three, yes. Okay. okay. Australian summer school. Australian summer school. Please open your books, follow the reading, listen, and repeat out loud. Australian summer school. Do you want to speak English every day? Do you want to study in a sunny country with lots of beaches? You can do both of these things in Australia. Many students from other countries come to Australia. They study at high schools in the same class as Australian students. They all study the same subjects together – maths, English, history and many more. It's hard work, but the students always have a lot of fun too. Overseas students normally stay for a few weeks in the summer, but you can stay for a term or even a whole year. You can stay with a family near the school. They usually have children, so you can meet new friends before you start school. Host families often take their visitors on exciting trips too. Do you love animals? Come and meet our kangaroos and koalas. Do you want to learn to surf? Have surfing lessons on our fantastic beaches. Whatever you choose, Australia is a great place to study and to live. Ask Tula. Tula is a student from the Philippines. She loves her Australian school in Sydney. She can answer your questions. Can I wear my normal clothes? Well, Australian students always wear a uniform. I've got a uniform now and I like it very much. Can my parents visit me? Yes, of course. They can stay in a hotel. Is it always hot in Australia? No, it isn't. It sometimes rains a lot. Check online for the weather forecast. Are Australian students friendly? Yes, definitely. I've got lots of new friends now. What's your favourite subject? It's PE because we play cricket. And I love it. Cricket isn't popular in my country. Okay. Very good. Yeah, let's continue, guys. Okay, let's do the exercises. It, it says read the web page and choose the best answer. Okay, so for example, the weather in Australia is often cold, cool, or sunny. Select the, the best one. School pupils from other countries can study in special schools, in language schools, or with Australian students. Choose the best. Overseas students usually stay in hotels, in the school, or in a family home. Australian families often have lots of animals, teach the visitors to swim, show the visitors around, Tula's opinions of her stay in Australia is good, okay, or bad. You have to select the correct one, okay? All right, let's continue. It says, read the web page and find examples of these things. For example, a type of school, read and find out the type of school. 
high school. Two animals, mention the two animals here, a sport, two countries, and a city. Okay, so I read Australian summer school again. Now, let's go to prepositions of place, no? Prepositions of place have a similar meaning. Okay, try to remember which preposition we use with which type of place. For example, here we have the prepositions on, at, in, on, at, in, one, in Australia, in a class, at home, at work, at school, on holiday, on a farm, etc. Now, let me take you to at Position of place, no? At college, at home, at reception, at school, at the bottom, at the cinema, no? In, in a taxi, in a car, in the sky, in the building, in the, the tower, tower, in a row, in the newspaper, in the garden, on, on the way, on the radio, on the page, or on the web page, on a bicycle, on a ship, and on a horse. Okay? All right, these are the prepositions of place, no, at, in, and on. You have to memorize, guys, memorize the prepositions of place, okay? Now, let's continue. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. Let me take it to the book. All right. Okay, preposition. No? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Now, we have the school subject. School subjects. Before we see this and study this, Okay, I have a video for you prepare and talks about school subjects. All right. Yes, here I have it for you guys. School subjects. Pay attention, listen and repeat, no? School subjects. <laughs> What subject are you studying in the school? What is your favorite subject? English. English. My favorite subject is English. Math. Math. I like math. Science. Science. I love science. Geography. Geography. My favorite subject is geography. History. History. I like history. Art. Art. I love art. Music. Music. We, we love, love music. music. Computer. Computer. My favorite subject is computer. P.E. P.E. We love P.E. Review. Art. Computer. English. Geography. History. Math. 
music. P.E. Science. Perfect. Are the prepositions? I mean, the school soccer. Okay. School soccer. Art. Circle now. Let's continue with the book. Okay. Students' book. Okay. Here we have. Which subjects can you see in the photo? Okay. In the photo. Here we have the sad art, citizenships, drama. English, French, geography, German, history, ICT, information and computer technology. Instead of saying technology, you can say ICT, you know, is, which means information and computer technology. Math, music, PE, which is physical education, religious studies, science, Spanish and technology. Please look at the picture and match. For example, here, uh, what do you see, you know? Okay, it depends on what you see and choose a grill. For example, okay, the first one would be art, exactly, art. And then you continue, okay? Continue, please. All right. The next activity is this. This is Nadia's timetable. Listen and compete, no? Okay, we have Monday and the time, 9, 10, 11, 11, 15, 12, 15, 1, and 2, okay? This is the time, and these are the school subjects, math, break, lunch, etc. No, only math is the school subject, break and lunch are not. Listen and complete. Is science the first lesson today? No, it's maths. And what have we got before break? Uh... We've got art. Great. I love art. And then we've got history before lunch. Have we got geography this afternoon? No, we haven't. We've got PE all afternoon. Oh, no. I haven't got my PE kit. Okay, listen again. Listen again and complete. Is science the first lesson today? No, it's maths. And what have we got before break? Uh, we've got art. Great. I love art. And then we've got history before lunch. Have we got geography this afternoon? No, we haven't. We've got PE all afternoon. Oh, no. I haven't got my PE kit. Okay, perfect, no? So, we have the first answer, which is art, no? At 10 o'clock. Then you continue, please. Listen again, listen as many times as possible so you can complete the exercise, okay? All right, guys. Following with this exercise, we have answered the questions about Nadia's timetable, no? For example, one, what's Nadia's first lesson? Her first lesson is maths. What, ha what has she got before break? What has she got after lunch? Is art before or after history? What time is Nadia's uh, last lesson and what is it? Please answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And please answer two. This is for you guys. This is what have we got today after our English class? What other subject you have to answer, no? What's our first lesson on Monday morning? What day have we got, uh, for example, um, physical education or PE? Or uh, what, what, what have we got after break tomorrow? Look at the schedule. And what's your favorite subject? Okay, math, English, geography, PE, okay, ICT, et cetera, okay? Okay, guys. So, I think that's it. Let me check one more time. Okay, exactly. We're going to finish up to here, yeah? Don't forget to watch the video as many times as possible so you can understand, okay, the, the lesson for today. Don't forget to do the assignments on the RLP platform and the mini tests. Thank you, thank you very much.
Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.